Well, howdy there, folks. Uh, we're only about an hour away from uh, Tattoo Chef and Honest reporting earnings. Just want to go over real quick uh, my plan of action if these stocks crash. Uh, we'll also talk about if these stocks go up. I just want to tell you guys uh, exactly what I'm planning on here, okay? Uh, first off, the consensus is uh, I think there's a lot of fear going into these earnings. Um, you know, think about it. A lot of people have been watching these earnings come out from companies, right? And a lot of these stocks have gone down 10 to 30%. Like, I've seen a ton of these stocks down 10, 20, 25, 30%. And people are fearful, right? And by the way, if you're wondering, Hoodie Jeremy, you don't usually see Hoodie Jeremy. That's only when we're ready for war, okay? And, and and uh, it will be war after hours today and into tomorrow. But uh, a lot of people are very, very, very scared, uh, to be quite honest. And I can, I can understand that, especially if you're newer to the market and you're seeing all these other stocks go down 10, 20, 30%. And you're like, oh, is that going to be the chef tomorrow? Is that going to be honest? I respect. I can completely understand that. So um, as far as me, I bought uh, another, what was it, $18,000 or so worth of the chef um, here just about, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes ago. My plan is, uh, in regards to Honest first, if, if Honest tanks, let's say it goes down to, I don't know, eight bucks even a share, if it touches the sevens, my plan of action there is to buy uh, at least $100,000 worth tomorrow. Um, you know, that's a stock I'm, um, I've just started buying over the last couple months. I'm a huge believer in that one over the coming year. So, you know, anything that's under 10 is extremely uh, interesting to me and I feel like is an easy buy over the coming years, right? But if it drops to like seven or something insane like that, yeah, I'm going to pick up at least $100,000 of that one. In regards to Tattooed Chef, TTCF, if that one falls, you know, we've seen it fall to $15, $16. If it does that again tomorrow, I will pick up $100,000 plus dollars of Tattooed Chef. I have a half million dollars ready to rock and roll if, um, you know, it's needed to be deployed out there. I'm a, at the end of the day, the way I look at these sorts of companies is I'm a, I'm a huge bull on them over the next three, five, seven years, right? And so... Whatever happens as far as quarterly numbers go, it doesn't change the game for me. If if those companies slightly miss or slightly beat earnings, that does not change my perspective on those two stocks, right? It's just it's not a game changer for me, right? I'm in those because I believe their revenues are going to certain places over the next three years, over the next five years, over the next seven years, and I believe their businesses will be worth certain amounts of money, right? And so that's where I try to stay, like in a long term mindset. The quarterly earnings are fun. And, um, you know, they're, they're uh, you know, it's, it's the closest thing to a competition we can get in the stock market, right, when you get these earnings. But at the end of the day, I'm really trying to stay, uh, you know, keep my mind on this, this whole, you know, multi-year cycle, I think, that is going to happen for these stocks. And, um, you know, I never try to let one of these, these earnings dictate positive or negative uh, my feeling about that particular stock, unless there's something outlandish in it. Like, unless there's something that is way better than I thought it was going to be or way worse, that's the only thing that would get me to change my mindset at all, where it's like, you know, if Ted Tuchef all of a sudden reported 10% revenue growth, yeah, that would be disappointing. I'm looking for 50% plus revenue growth from Ted Tuchef, right? Um, you know, if, if Honest all of a sudden decided they're going to exit the diaper business, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> this stock's not uh, very interesting to me anymore, right? Uh, those are not expectations, right? On the flip side, if things are drastically better than I even thought they were, sometimes I'll, I'll pick up shares on the next day, even if they're up. So let's imagine Tattoo Chef's up tomorrow big, right? I mean, if there's something that's way better than I thought it was going to be with Tattoo Chef, I would potentially even buy on Thursday, even if uh, the stock's up big. Same thing with Honest. If something's way better at Honest than I thought it was going to be, I would potentially even pick up shares. I did that recently with uh, Voyager, Voyager Digital. Like Things just got a lot better there than I expected, and uh, I was a happy, happy buyer, right? And so uh, I'm not afraid to average up on a position if those stocks were to go up. I think just the consensus, and the f I think there's a lot of fear in the market right now uh, about especially some of these smaller cap companies and just watching these other stocks go down 10, 20, 30%. People are like, oh, dude, I'm scared. And I, I completely respect that. I completely understand that um, because, yeah, you know, when, when you're seeing it happen, it's like, oh, man, is that going to be me? You know, this is uh, earnings is like, uh, you know, it's a battlefield, man. And if you're on a battlefield and you're seeing soldiers go down left and right, you start getting them maybe you're a little fearful, right? Well, not everybody gets a little fearful. Some, some welcome that challenge, right? And in the financial landscape, uh, you know, we're on the battlefield right now and you're seeing stocks get boom, 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 mowed down one after another, down 10, 20, 30 percent. And people are like, is it going to be me next? You know, respect. So anyways, that's my plan of action. Um, if those stocks crash tomorrow, 
I will be a big buyer. And if they go up, I might be a buyer. We'll just see. Uh, depends on if uh, things were really good. So that's my plan of action. At least you guys know it. I hope you enjoyed this. And much love as always. Best of luck for everybody, whether they want stocks to go up or down or all around. And peace.